Hello. I've just been reading this month's psychology review and I was really struck by the article about qualitative research using qualitative methods to understand musicians' personal meaning of music. And it got me thinking about this ridiculous argument we have in psychology, which is better, qualitative or quantitative research. There is a very simple answer to that question. We need both. They do different things. You could never have used numbers to get into the heads of musicians the way this qualitative research has done. And that shows what you need qualitative research for. If you're exploring complex ideas, slightly abstract ideas like personal meaning, like music, those things do not lend themselves to numbers. It would have been silly. However, we also need quantitative research when we're asking questions like, which is better? Is there a mathematical relationship between this and this? Which is more? Those are quantitative questions, so we need that as well. There are some studies which combine quantitative and qualitative data, and we couldn't manage without both. A really classic example of that is the Stanley Milgram study. Without the quantitative data, i.e. how many people gave what voltage, we would simply not know how obedient people are. The how is a quantitative question. However, if we only had Milgram's quantitative data, it would be misleading because we wouldn't have any understanding of why people were obedient. It's the qualitative data, the observations of the body language, the interviews, what people said afterwards. Those are the things that actually give us a clue as to what was happening in people's minds during the study. So, we need quantitative research, we need qualitative research. They're not rivals, they do different things, and sometimes we need them to work together. There you go. Thank you very much.